I'm currently starting a YouTube channel and I'm letting AI do it for me. The premise is nice and simple. Chat GPT, give me 10 video ideas. I take those ideas, I add them onto a new channel and hopefully the AI of Chat GPT will beat the AI algorithm of YouTube and I win YouTube. That's the plan. But let me tell you, this video idea this week, absolutely nuts. So let's go for it. Oh yeah, we're talking fat people. That's right. ChatGPT has decided that I, Rough Butter, should give you folks some big guy life hacks. Now, trigger warning. This is for pure comedic purposes. And if you find you would get offended by me making fun of fat people, myself included, then now is your cue to leave. Thank you very much. It is appreciated. Okay, so big guy life hacks by Rough Butter. I've cut myself off there already. Professionalism at its finest. Let's go, baby. The word fat. Now, this word has been used quite negatively quite a lot. Like, yo you fat. I don't know. I'd, I imagine that's what people would say to me. Be like, damn boy, you're fat. And I'd be like, yep. Well, the word fat has been used negatively for too long, I say. Too long. So I'm here to break it down for you. The word fat, you see it as one individual word. I see it as three. Five. And these are those. If you're fat, you, my friend, are fucking awesome. 10 out of 10. Excuse my language, I'm very passionate. Let's move on. So people often come up to me and they go, hello, Rough Butter, how you doing? Quick question, how did you become fat? And more importantly, once you're fat, how do you stay being fat? Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I often give them the same advice every time. And I'm gonna share that advice with you. Nice and simple. Burger King, McDonald's, KFC, Subway. Exactly. Now, following this conversation, people will be like, oh my gosh, Rough Butter, thank you so much. And then, you know, they go away, they become big guys, and then, or girls, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to judge. And then they come back to me and go, oh no, I have no clothes. So, let me tell you how to get some comfortable clothes as a fat person. Nice and simple, very easy, really, really easy way to go about it. Are you ready? Bed sheets. I'm telling you now, every time you see me on this camera, on my live stream, I stream on Twitch every week, just to, yeah, exactly, yeah, all right then, yeah, okay. You'll always see me in some block colouring, some block coloured clothing, and let me tell you, bed sheets. It's, it's the only way, it's the only way forward. Okay, so ChatGPT suggested that I tell you or help you out as, as a big person or a fat person, how to navigate small spaces. And that's fair enough because obviously, you know, you might see this as, as quite a difficult thing now that you've recently become a bigger person. Understandable. So I thought I'd show you with a little demonstration, okay? So there's, there's a fat person, 10 out of 10. Hello there, friend, looking fantastic. And there is a potential small space that you wish to navigate. Okay, now let's see how this plays out. Oh, yep, they're going, oh, 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 they can't get in. So my advice would be, don't, don't navigate small spaces while you're trying to go down a manhole. So far, you're doing incredibly well. You are well on your way to becoming a very, very successful fat person. Now, this is a key part, a key component in living a fat person lifestyle, okay? I need you to be listening, listening close. Are you ready? Are you ready? Listen, listen in, listen close. Navigating the Chinese buffet, right? This is extremely important. 
So let's break down the sections that are normally in a Chinese buffet. Right? So you've got the main part. You know, your standards, your noodles, your rice, your main dishes. Okay? And then you've got your starters. Right? You've got your wontons, your spring rolls. You've got your sesame toast. You've got your duck pancakes. Okay? And it was important to keep them separate. And let me tell you why. I've got another demonstration for you to show you how we go about this. Nice and simple. So there's a very, very handsome fat man right there for you. I mean, an absolute stud if I do say so myself. So the first thing that you want to do when going to the Chinese buffet, is you want to go to your duck pancakes. You know, nice and simple. Always the first, they're quite light, quite tasty, and probably actually the best part of the buffet. So you go, you get your duck, you get a little bit of spring onion, bit of cucumber if you want, and some hoisin sauce. That's key. Because normally, or sometimes, they'll put soy sauce with it. You don't want any of that nonsense. What you want is some hoisin sauce to go with that. You're welcome. That comes up in the test. Make sure to note it down. So, following, following from your duck pancakes, you think, hmm, okay, maybe I'll go to my mains. No, don't be silly. You hit the starters. So you go, your wontons, your spring rolls, your sesame prawn toast. As I mentioned before, you've got all the other startery bits. Fantastic. Sometimes they'll have a bit of satay chicken, a bit of satay prawn, maybe the odd garlic prawn if, if it's a bit bougie, you know. Then, and this is key, okay, the next step is vital. Otherwise, you're messing up the whole system. Here's what you've got to do. Now, you might think at this point, well, I've had an appetizer, which is the, the duck pancakes, and I've had a starter. Let's go to the mains. Wrong. Let's see what this handsome chap does. Absolutely. You keep on going between starters and duck pancakes, because let's be honest, in a Chinese buffet, they're the best bit. So you want to fill up on those because they're just the best. And then, and only then, when you feel like you've got a little bit more space, you know, you, you think, okay, well, I've tried every single bit of starter food. I've had so many duck pancakes. I'm basically a mallard at this point. Then, and only then, do you go to the mains. And then you can have whatever you want. Do you know what? Fill your boots. Sweet and sour chicken, if that's what you want. Fine, absolutely fine. Some noodles, some rice, some whatever. I don't really care. But, you know, you've got to make sure to hit the starters and the duck pancakes and go in between. If the buffet doesn't have duck pancakes, leave. All right? It's the only way. It's the only way. And then, and only then, if they have a dessert, you can go for a dessert if you really want to. But, you know, that's by the by. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. I'll leave, I'll leave that one up to you. But the first bit is key. Make a note, write it down. You're welcome. Okay. So you might now turn to me and go, do you know what, Rough Butter? You've given me some absolutely fantastic advice. Some absolutely fantastic advice. But I don't, I don't want to be fat anymore. You know, I've enjoyed myself. I've had a fantastic time. But now I'm a little bit worried about my weight. And I'll be like, that's okay. That's okay. No stress whatsoever. It's important that you feel comfortable in your skin. And if you're not comfortable with being a bigger person now, that's okay. So let me help you out with some big guy or gal exercise regimes. Okay? This bit's important. Make sure your notepads are still out. So, exercise number one that you can do. Try to find your toes. Yep, nice and simple. And you might think, that's really silly, Rough Butter. That's really silly. All right, well, go try find your toes and then come back and tell me it's silly. Because let me tell you now, it is hard work. You know, and if you want to take this exercise to the next level, try and put your socks and shoes on. Woo! And then come back and tell me it's easy. So the next exercise regime that you can go for, nice and simple. If you can't afford weights, well, just think. You are the biggest weight here. So grab that underbelly and lift it up and down and up and down, up 
down, up, down, and let me tell you, you will be buff. You know, I did that, and I went from rough butter to buff butter, okay? Absolutely shredded. And the final exercise, very difficult to do. I, I do appreciate it, but, you know, you still got to try. Embrace your inner panda and do some roly polies. Just roll around. You're the perfect shape. You are now the optimal shape to embrace your inner panda and roll around. And let me tell you, you will be shattered by the end of it. And that weight will just fly off. You know, it's not it's not that easy being a fat person all the time. You know, some days and some things just a little bit tough. But that's okay, because today I'm going to tell you some things to avoid. You know, these could potentially be things that hurt you, that just aren't great, and, you know, will if you avoid them, it'll just make life a little bit better and a little bit easier. Okay? Nice and simple. Very easy to avoid. First one, stairs. Just get rid. Just get rid of them in your life. You know, you don't need stairs. They're overrated, and they're the fat person's number one enemy. You don't need them. Don't need them. Get them gone. If you live in a flat, well then, you're just going to have to find some other way. Move. Because it's not worth it. Too many risks. Not worth it. Okay? Next thing. Bending down. I, I understand that I said you've got to do this if you want to lose weight. But if you don't, don't even bother. Don't even bother doing it. What's the point? You're looking down and at that point, gravity is just going to take over. And you don't want that. So avoid it. Avoid it at all costs. And the last thing, sitting on the floor. You don't need it. Because let me tell you, if you let gravity take over from bending, or if you choose to sit on the floor, you're not coming back up. You've got no chance. No chance whatsoever. And that's going to be a whole commotion, a whole thing. Just avoid it. Just avoid it. There's no need for it. And it's a waste of time. Thank you very much for coming to my talk today about fat people life hacks. Folks, that is it from me. And one final thing that I wanted to share with you was that this is an AI representation of a happy fat man. And I think that's beautiful because every single one is holding a massive ice cream. And oh, that's just, that's just magical. That is magical. incredible.